Good afternoon. Greetings from Medellin, Colombia. I'm here accompanied by my guests from the uh, Circular Economy Platform to start the closing of the day. The idea is basically to have a conversation with them. One, what did you think of the day? What did you think of the sessions? This is the first time we decided to organize a uh, forum in this format as a podcast. It was a learning experience for the team and it has generated a lot of new uh, lessons and fruitful lessons to replicate in future versions of this CFA forum, CFA 2020 or future activities we can carry out. Irina, what did you think? I think it was a neutral carbon uh, footprint event, very important, and you will be able to relate to it because you will then be able to go back to the podcast and look at each presentation, the experts, the people who were here talking about different topics on how to make that transit shift towards circular economy from water, from industrial symbiosis and social environmental processes we're going through in the continent right now. It's an excellent way of getting together and going beyond everything we've learning and sharing everything we've learning since, say, CFA 2018. Yes, thank you. Alex, what did you think? And we were now sharing that you have something uh, interesting to exchange a lot of information because two hours is quite a long time to touch on certain topics and even to deviate, go off route and come back in. First of all, I'll take the chance to talk in Portuguese a little bit. People here who talk Portuguese. This was not arranged. So I'll talk a little bit in Portuguese then. I think we have had a fantastic learning experience. We were able to gather large amounts of information and it was truly worth it even for us who are really submerged in it to understand each concept uh, more with different aspects. And I think there's great uh, advantage in pouring yourself into it, in studying, in sharing, getting feedback, going back. It's a very rich experience. I also think it's a format for people to insist on for next events. So stick on, especially today's table. At the end, it was really, really exciting, literally exciting. The level of insight and experiences and connection with the people at the table. I hope this reaches uh, everyone because all of this information sticks online, not just at that moment. Yes, I think it's a great idea, idea to replicate uh, the idea and also to explore the possibility of combining this format with a traditional format, but also to invite people who want to be here with us and to establish a direct contact one-on-one. -on -one. Yes, because it, hugs are important, aren't they? And to remember, and I want to do this and that, and people who work a long distance away. So it is important to be together, to watch, look at each other eye to eye. It's also very important. I believe the same. Ahora cambiando el inglés. Que es interesante porque los cuatro venimos de países diferentes y subregiones. El Cono Sur, aún es Cono Sur en Brasil, sí, Cono Sur a sudeste, norte, norte y yo del Caribe. Entonces somos amigos de América Central y la región andina y estamos completos. 
Entonces, Ken, una cosa importante para que todos sepan es que hoy en los Estados Unidos es acción de gracias. Entonces, para nosotros realmente apreciamos que estés aquí, que tú, Howie y Mark, todos los norteamericanos nos hayan unido a nosotros para las sesiones del día de hoy. Felicitaciones por el Día de Acción de Gracias y cuáles son las lecciones aprendidas hoy y recomendaciones antes de cerrar. Gracias, Kevin. Para mí ha sido emocionante tener este formato diferente, que no todos hagan las mismas presentaciones PowerPoint, que por dos días se torna demasiado. Creo que el estilo conversacional fue fantástico y permitió conversar de una manera muy diferente de lo tradicional. Pienso que fue bueno tomar el riesgo de intentar algo diferente. Y a medida que pasó el día, he visto un contraste entre los conceptos que son simples, la idea de economía circular, de sostenibilidad. Realmente es un concepto simple y necesita ser simple para simplemente poder cambiar la manera de pensar. Pero, a pero como muestra el diálogo, cuando vamos a la implementación, el mundo es mucho más complejo y es mucho más difícil que de lo que el concepto parece sugerir. Entonces, en mi sesión hablamos de la escala de la vida desde una bacteria hasta una ballena azul. Esto es muy complejo. Ustedes hablaban de ciudades que tienen su super complejidad de personas, movimiento y cosas. E incluso dentro de... Eh, el producto está la complejidad de las cadenas de distribución y que la, el sostenimiento que es local, porque debemos lidiar con cada uno de nuestros países y ciudades donde vivamos. Por lo que pienso que este, con, este contraste de global a local, de grande a pequeño y la complejidad de eso es algo que todos debemos comprender. Primero, comprender la idea, el concepto. Y luego todos juntos para hacer que funcione con un contexto local, porque el contexto local es tan importante para añadir esa, ese elemento infraestructural, que es muy diferente, incluso en Cali es diferente de estar en Medellín, por lo que pienso que este elemento es tan importante. Entonces, muchas gracias a Ken. Ken, thank you very much. So to end the day, thank you for the colleagues in the uh, platform, Circular Economy for the Americas. Thank you for the other panelists, our international guests, our panelists, all the technical team to be able to achieve this. It has been an interesting day. And tomorrow we will be back at 9 a.m. Colombia time. And we will begin the session of energy, mobility, and SMEs in the future and the future of circular economy. Please register. If you have not registered yet, you can visit our website, www.cefa2019.com. You'll be able you'll be able to find all the information on the event there and register to have access to the plat live platform. And to wrap up, also want to thank all the sponsors who helped us make this forum, this event come true. This includes the metropolitan area of the Aburra Valley, Confama, Vrica Mobiliarios. Ripley Entity, as ourselves, ASDF, and the platform of Circular Economy. I'm looking around. Train Me, obviously, and our colleagues from the translation team. Thank you, everyone, Robinson. And we will see you all back tomorrow for our next day of CFA 2019. Have a good night.